Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today we are heading out of ancient Egypt, I'm here for some reason, but instead we're going into a whole new world. Of course, last episode we completed the endless mode, or at least played a little bit of the endless mode in Wild West. Now we're moving on to our fourth world, the Frostbite Caves. Another three out of five difficulty, just like the Wild West. I'm sure things will be interesting. I don't really know anything about this world, so this is definitely where things are gonna be super interesting for me. Um, Frostbite Caves, explore the frozen wastes of prehistory and chill out with the coolest zombies ever. Beware the winds or your plants will be frozen veggies. So we got a whole bunch of new plants. Most of these I don't know too much about and I guess like a new zombie pinata type. Let's use our key and get started. Oh boy, I'm excited. So what's interesting about this one is it only has 30 levels. All of the other ones have had 35. I don't know if we can see that for the rest of them. I guess we'd have to unlock them at some point. But yeah, 30 levels. I don't know what that really means for us. Maybe I'll scroll through it. But as you can see, here is our first level ready to go. I just sort of want to see when this ends. Does this end on level 25 like normal or does it go beyond that? Um, it looks like it does go to level 30. So we'll try to do 10 levels per episode for the next couple of episodes. But hey, for right now, we'll get started with level number one way over this way and see how things go. I'm pretty excited. Get to try this place out. Oh, hey, it's Crazy Dave and Penny. Burr, it's colder than a polar bear eating an ice pop. Indeed, it appears we have arrived in the Frostbite Caves. We've traveled so far back in history, we've arrived in prehistory. A historic moment indeed, user Dave, but more importantly, my sensors indicate there's an ice flow on the lawn. Data suggests it will block plants and zombies, though I predict hungry zombies will find a way around it. Don't worry, we'll plant wisely and stop those zombies cold. All right, so, so let's tip to the frostbite caves. So there's stuff blocking us, huh? Sure as heck looks like it. Oh, I see, so it'll push the zombies down or up right now into some walnuts, so that will be interesting for sure. Hey, in the meantime, let's try to figure some stuff out. I'm thinking it would probably be good to, you know, let's warm these zombies up a little bit, you know? Just like use that Snapdragon. Like, I do not know what we wanna do here. It's definitely gonna be interesting. I'm sort of in the mood to do like three Peter and then maybe some spike weed. Get some potato mines here to set things up. Will that even work in the frozen area? I'm not even sure. This is like a whole new playing field for me. It's gonna be super interesting. So I'm excited to try this out, see how things go. Oh, we got, what's with the little beaver? That's weird, no, no coins. It got like weird little, oh, did I turn the music off? I always end up doing that, I'm so sorry. Uh, but we have weird like beaver lawnmowers. Super odd. So yeah, this guy's just gonna walk right into the walnut, so I don't have to worry about him too much for right now. I could just do that, and that should be fine. He's just a brown coat, so yeah. Man, this will be super weird, and now the music's just gone. Come on, come back, music. Maybe that'll work. Oh, he just goes right through it. Oh, wow, weird. Um, Why does he go through it? Uh, Oh, and that doesn't freeze him in his tracks. Okay, there's some super odd stuff going on here. I didn't realize that wouldn't stop him. Okay, um, okay, we we had to unmelt it. I had no clue. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out as we go along, but it's for sure odd. Uh, so we need to make sure we rush a Snapdragon or anything that's gonna melt that, but I'm pretty sure something with fire would probably be doing a better job. So yeah, very interesting, for sure. Let's place more sunflowers if I can, along with, you know, a spike weed or something. There we go. This is definitely a bit different than what I was expecting, but I like it so far. And we can, you know, focus all of our efforts into the three middle lanes because of the fact that um, we know that they can't be on the top or bottom with how it pushes us, so or pushes them, so that's pretty cool. So I'll get that set up, and now I wanna work on the three-peaters if I could. That'd be great. I feel like it'd just be a pretty good idea. Get a three-peater there. Get more sunflowers out so we can focus on that as well. Very good. Okay, let's see, is it gonna, for this guy on the bottom? It'll just push him up, right? Indeed it does, okay, very cool. So there we go, we get our two three Peters. I'm gonna get one in the center as well. And we should be good with that. Come on, one more sun. There it is, very cool. Get some coins, get lots of stuff. Okay, things are going pretty well. I mean, obviously it's not perfect, but definitely could be worse. Hmm. Okay. 
So at this rate, the best thing I could do is just probably just work backwards with the sunflowers and get more three peters out that way. Because I just don't really use three peters very often. I wanted to sort of have fun with them. Oh, here we go. The music's back. <laughs> okay, I like the music here too, so that's that's worth my while. Let's go ahead and do this because once these guys get pushed up, it actually didn't do really any damage to them. Let's try that. There we go. Excellent. So there we go. We got our first level of the Frostbite Caves completed and we get ourselves a potato. How cool is that? I love the new music. So we get Hot Potato, plant it on an ice block to melt the block. Very cool. Let's take a look at what we get in the travel log as well. Freezing wind got you down. Uh, I guess so. We get some stuff. Uh, so we get two hot potato level up things. Very cool, two out of 10, and that's it. But that's still pretty cool. Okay, I'm having a lot of fun with that already. So we've had an excellent start to the frostbite caves. Let's move on to level two here. Don't look now, Penny, but those plants have a bad case of freezer burn. It's the freezing winds from, the t from this time period. They've immobilized the plants. I suggest we call on hot potato. She can melt those ice blocks. Okay, I'm warming up to the idea already. Alrighty then, I, I never know how to do Crazy Dave's voice. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely use Hot Potato, looks like it's forcing us to, which is fine with me. I like it so far anyways. So when it comes to everything else though, we already got some repeaters, maybe I should continue with that trend. But what's interesting, I don't have to worry as much about the second to top and second to bottom lanes because of the little pushing. Um, so if we just, yeah, okay. Hmm. Wanna be a bad spot to focus on a three-peater again. I definitely want more walnuts though. Maybe something like that. Uh, three-peater. And maybe Snapdragon again. And like Potato Mine, just to be careful. So the Iceberg Lettuce just like doesn't really work against these guys very well, so it is something to be careful of. But hey, we'll get things going. And as soon as the hot potato is ready, I'll start using that. That'll be pretty cool. Ready and go. Ooh. Very cool. Oh, well, I sort of melted the wrong one, but it's gonna be restored in just a moment, so we should be okay just to do that. And it looks like just about anything can get rid of the ice on the walnuts. And in the meantime, they can just sort of walk right past it. So that's a bit of a concern, but we'll make it work. Uh, so I wanna unfreeze all the repeaters first. And then we can work on stuff like the Snapdragons. And that should be fine. Looks like it to me. So they sort of work like weird gravestones, but over plants. I mean, obviously it can't go over a plant that hasn't been planted, so. I'll we'll have to see how that ends up happening. Oh, look at this, okay, now there are winds freezing it. Gotta keep that in mind. I mean, it looks like it doesn't totally disable the plant right away, but I'm sure if enough winds were to blow through, that could be a problem. Okay, we got our first uh, plant food there. I don't know how soon we'll be able to use the repeater. I got plenty of other sun to build up, oh my. So we need to make sure we're using this hot potato as often as we can, because that's gonna sneak up on us big time. Hmm. Is there any way we could use a plant power up again, or with it? I don't think so, but I'll definitely try. So let's go ahead and unfreeze the sunflower so that the repeater can keep attacking. Okay. So I wanna get one more Snapdragon if that's possible. And then I'll focus on three Peters. I mean, we don't really have too much more time here, so. Ooh, those guys got frozen. Hot potato, unfreeze that one. Thank you. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Okay. Huge wave of zombies coming in. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, actually. Or trying it. Okay, that's fine. We'll do a three-peater there, that's about all we can do at the moment. This is gonna be a tough world, I can already tell. I don't know how much I'm looking forward to that, but we'll make it work. Anyways, here's our last grouping of zombies. We got them. Not too much of a problem, actually. Okay, so yep, just a bag of coins for that one. That's sort of what I was expecting. Very cool. So as you can see, we get ourselves at this level completed. Frostbite Caves Day 2, and now we can move on to Day 3. Okay, day three. My data suggests Hurricane would be of great use here. A blast of hit air from him, and the zombies will chill out and slow down. The guys are real blowhard, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. Do we have that plant? Or will it give it to us? 
Okay, maybe it'll give it to us. It was Hurricane, apparently. So we probably want to make that a bit painful or something. It's sort of gonna force them all into this lane down this way. Like, this one's weird. All right, we'll have to figure out how we want to do this. Like, yeah, how's Hurricane work? Okay. That's certainly interesting. So uh, can I push, no, these guys are frozen, so that doesn't work. Gotta keep that in mind. I don't know if I should be breaking these guys open like this. It's sort of weird. With any luck, all, all the zombies will only pop up on the bottom lane, though. That's not gonna be the case. There's no luck here. All right, um... I guess I wanna do this, then? Maybe I should've saved that. Hard to say. So it is sort of like the uh, the blubber, the blover from PVZ1, but it also sort of freezes them, which is certainly interesting. Um, I feel like I need plants at a faster rate than the game is currently giving them to me. But we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'll do that, and then maybe I could actually leave this open so that if a zombie does get over there, we can blow them backwards. Because I think that's the strategy, is waiting for them all to pile up on that top lane and then blowing them over. So that they have to walk through this trail of spike weeds over and over again. Yeah, because they get pushed all the way back. Very interesting. So, right now, and he's gonna fly all the way back. How crazy cool is that? Okay, I like it. Get that coin. So I'm starting to understand what we gotta do here, but at the same time, it's not easy. Uh, like, what if I put it here? Okay, so no matter where you put that blow, that, that hurricane, it'll blow up everybody on that lane. So you don't have to worry about that as much. Okay, get those. If I could just get like one more nice and powerful plant though, like that'd be amazing. Also, there's a new power up on the bottom. Instead of it being frost, it's fire. <laughs> and I guess that makes sense. Weird. Okay, so we probably wanna pile up as many zombies as we can on that top lane. Definitely get more spike weeds, wherever I can get them. Oh my. Okay, so when this is getting scary, I can knock them back, but I wanna wait until the absolute most necessary time. Come on, oh, the game is lagging. Oh, the game is really lagging. So they get knocked all the way back and I still have one more left I can use. Hey, that guy finally got broken out of his ice. That's good. Let's speed this up a little bit then. All right, I get another pea shooter. I can start weakening these guys. Lots of zombies so far. I mean, we're not done. We're not even close to being done here. Okay, let's put that spike weed there. Get another coin. The music is very odd. I, I love it though. Okay. The only problem now is I don't really have, maybe I did one too many spike weeds. Uh, looks like it to me. So I'll actually have to like remove one. I guess I'll just remove that one. Okay. This is certainly interesting. There we go, got that. So we have a full set of plant food now. Could we activate it on something like that? No, it would be cool if it like pushed all the zombies up if you did that or something like that. I don't know how helpful that would actually be though. Okay, so honestly, I don't know if we'll really need too much of anything here. Looks like the, the pea shooters are just sort of doing their job. Like I might need it here. And there we go, we win. Okay, that wasn't too bad then. We got it. And as you can see, we get ourselves a bag of coins and a full set of lawnmowers, so we're good. So let's see what's going on next in the Frostbite Caves. All right, Frostbite Cave is day four. Oh, that's a new looking zombie. Looks like he might like throw snowballs or something. And it doesn't even tell you what's going on for this one. Uh, that has me a bit concerned. Let's take a look at this. So it looks like on the, the second to bottom lane, it'll push him down and then back up. But beyond that, everything is mostly normal. So I'm thinking Sunflower, we still haven't unlocked the Hurricane, unfortunately. That's sort of a shame. I feel like there's more plants here than they were before. Let's go ahead and definitely get the hot potato. And then, I feel like there were. Maybe maybe every time you go into a world, it unlocks. Like, I don't think these were here before. 
But maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe you don't unlock the Hurricane. Maybe you need to get it with gems. That would sort of stink, but I mean, I guess it's sort of how some of the game works. I don't know if there's a specific way to earn up gems or if you just have to buy them. But that'd be weird because there's certain plants you can only get by buying them. Why is there two dif differentiating things? Who knows? Definitely don't need the iceberg lettuce. Uh, let's get the Snapdragon. And then maybe we could do Spike Weed again. That's been like a pretty well working combo. And then maybe like Chili Bomb just in case things go awry. I don't know if that'll be the case, but we'll give it our best shot and see what ends up happening. There we go. So. Luckily, we don't currently need the hot potato. That may end up changing. So this is interesting. It actually spawned in two zombies at once. So I'm thinking I could, okay, I need more sun. And then do that and see if I can't beat up both of these guys at the same time. Obviously, I think I will be. Uh, the only question now is if I can keep something like that going. Like, is this guy gonna walk past us? He won't be. That's a lot of zombies right away. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Um, I'm gonna put him here. And then once again, let's get another walnut. And that should be good enough. I wanna work on two rows of sunflowers here, I think. Because I just need the extra sun wherever I can get it. Come on, don't let that guy get past us. Will we be able to do it? He won't, come on. That's sort of silly. There we go, thank you, Snapdragon number two. So this should be pretty good, but it could be better, and that's what I'm trying to change up now. There we go, okay. Maybe a potato mine here just in case. I don't think I'm gonna need it, but always good to make sure. Yeah, I definitely won't need it, luckily. So this setup should work for now. Okay, what is this guy doing? He's throwing snowballs. I thought so. It looked like he had a little backpack or something, like a little satchel full of them. Okay, this is actually working pretty well, but he's freezing them. Gotta make sure that doesn't happen. And that's gonna be a bit of a problem because I can't really get him in the traditional way. I'm gonna have to just cherry bomb him for now. But with my current setup, I didn't really take in the fact that there might be ranged zombies here. So I don't really know what my best bet is against someone like him, except for cherry bombing him for the time being. Hmm. Okay, well, we did what we could there for right now. I just gotta keep going. Maybe we can start setting up those spike weeds. Looks like a good bat. Got that there. And got this here. Even though there won't be any zombies there specifically, so maybe not worth doing. So I'm just gonna keep on layering out different, uh, so like, let's see how much damage it takes to actually get rid of this guy with the spike weed. Like maybe quite a lot. I'll have to be careful, but yeah, it does take a good while even with this to beat him up. But definitely something I'm gonna keep working on, just keep adding more spike weeds. I mean, all the Snapdragons are attacking enough, it does melt the ice pretty quickly anyways, so we should be okay. But if I could just keep beating that guy up, I wouldn't be complaining, you know? Because he moves very slow, it ju should just stack on some damage over time, so that's always good. And we'll just work on a second layer of it now. Because we don't have a three-peater. Whoa, that guy up there, he got by. I didn't even notice. Uh, let's just do that, and we'll work on more Snapdragons, I suppose, something like that might work. There we go, there's more plant food. Get something like that. This isn't the last lane just here, the last wave. We're coming up on it, though. There we go. Better than nothing. Hmm. Luckily, it doesn't seem to damage plants, it just sort of seems to freeze them over time. Let's get this guy, because he's not quite beat up just yet. We got lots of sun. We just need the, the stuff to restore. So let's start putting walnuts over walnuts, of course. That way they get fully restored. This dude is tough for some reason. He just isn't getting taken out. Okay, so this is for real the final wave. I'm thinking we will do this. I will set this up. And then I'll put a cherry bomb down here and it should get rid of the rest of them and indeed it does. Look at that, I need to, actually no, it's not the last of them. There's still one more guy over here. <laughs> Hold on, speed this up, we should be fine. Um, but yeah, we still need to get all of our uh, Zen Garden figured out. I think there might be more power boosts and stuff like that, so I definitely need to go and check it out. 
But hey, for right now, the zombie is defeated. Very good, look at that. All right, so, another zombie pinata. It's sort of like, yeah, a caveman zombie, something like that, he's got like a uh, saber-toothed tiger on his head. Let's open it up, what do we get inside? It's gonna be 100 coins. Ooh, four or whatever this is, Rotobega. I think that we've had that in PvZ Heroes, we got the hot potato. So here we are at level five. I'm starting to get cold feet about this place. Awesome, my feet are getting really cold. Time to turn up the heat. I recommend Pepper Pult for the job. He lobs hot peppers as zombies and also keeps nearby plants warm. Let's pick a pack of Pepper Pults. It's the perfect plan for our predicament. Must you rhyme, user Dave, must you? <laughs> I guess so. So, oh, we got bong choys, we got cabbage bolts, but they're all frozen. So it looks like we got ourselves another conveyor belt level. We'll just wait a moment to see where the first zombie pops up before I put out our first pepper dude, or pepper pult. Let's put him here. Well, this is surely interesting. But yeah, he's sort of warming up all of the zombies adjacent to him, or zombies plants adjacent to him. That's very interesting. I like it. Oh boy. So let's do that. Let's get this guy here, because I need to make sure that we, whoa, so I see he's gonna freeze everybody, but he's gonna be invulnerable to the freezing. So that's always good. We can deal with those cone heads pretty quick, too. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this guy up here. Oh, look at that bong choy, tearing him up. Okay, this isn't too bad, but I definitely wanna see this Actually, maybe I should wait for the snowstorm to be over. I wanna wait for the next actual time. Okay, oh boy. Yeah, the snowstorm is actually a major problem. <laughs> there we go. Okay, leave that pepper pole alone. I'm only this bong choy for now. I'm just gonna keep trying my best with the cabbage pulse. Very interesting so far. There we go, okay. I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. Whoa, he's just launching them everywhere just like a pult does. Cabbage pult, melon pult, kernel pult, they all sort of have that same launching when you do the plant power up. Okay, not too bad though. Definitely not too bad. I just need more of the of the pepper pults. If we can do that, we'll be good. I mean, I need one here so we have a full lane, but now I can start working on some other ones in some other places. You know, let's go ahead and get this guy here and this guy there. I think that would help out. Leave those pepper pulse alone. Okay, that's a problem. Will that beat him up? It will. That stinks we had to lose a pepper pulse for it. I don't like the snowstorms very much at all. This is not easy, but I'm doing what I can as it is. There we go, get that back over there. Could have been our first one in our next set, but no, couldn't be. Come on now. So this is actually our final wave, so let's go ahead and do this and start launching these peppers everywhere. And that seems to be working really well. I like it. Okay, we got one coin out of that. Better than nothing. All righty, so as you can see, we got a couple more coins, but then we're good. Let me go ahead and go to the Zen Garden now, something I've been meaning to do for a little while. Uh, whenever this lives. I couldn't do it before because we got the pinata, and once you collect the pinata, it always forces you to the next level. And it looks like we got something going on with the travel log. Uh, well, maybe in one more level. Okay. In the meantime, let's get to that Zen Garden, see what's going on. Uh, yeah, okay. So, as you can see, some of these guys have some rewards. So, uh, do not boost. Instead, we'll get this, which will be, oh, a chili bean. Pretty cool. And. Split P, not bad. So we have some cool options here. I definitely will use them at some point or another, but in the meantime, let's keep going with stuff. Alrighty, time for level six. Let's see what we get going on in this one. Hopefully some good stuff, but you never know. Our level objective is survive the zombie attack with most plants picked for you. Most plants, but not all of them. Okay. So it's already chosen sunflower, pepper pult, hot potato, tall nut, and spike weed. I would say maybe potato mine and snapdragon again. I know we're doing a pretty, actually, let's try, let's try sp spike reed, not spike reed, uh, lightning reed, sorry. <laughs> Getting all the names mixed up. So we'll definitely try to get the hot potato out on those sunflowers over that way. Just like that so we can get some extra sun. 
creation going on here. I'm gonna put a potato mine out to that one. And we should be okay with that. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. But I think that if we work towards this, we'll be okay. Wait for a potato mine, I wanna put it in front of the one sunflower where that one brown coat is. That'd be perfect. There we go. So I'm gonna do more pepper pull to action, just like that. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know, we might have to move some things around here with the lightning reed and the pepper pull and stuff. So I'm gonna switch over that strategy right now by putting lightning reeds out this way. Because I think that'll be good because these zombies are really, really grouped up. I mean, obviously, we'll continue to try to get the pepper pole, who's a bit more expensive than I was expecting. 200 sun for the guy. I mean, that's fine, but I was expecting it to be more like 150. And it's fun, we'll make it work. Okay. So can we, we can't quite undo that just yet. But we should be able to do that, it should be fine. I mean, if we wanna get the largest spread possible, maybe the zigzag motion is actually the best uh, for, you know, total coverage of being able to melt things, you know? So I might keep with this. In the meantime, let's get more of these guys set up. Because they also take a good long while to respawn, I've noticed, and that can be a bit concerning. There we go. We're making it work so far. I just need one more sun and we have enough for our next pepper pole, which should be maybe our last one. We can always use the hot potato like here. I think we need it. Let's do the tall nut. Okay, well I had enough sun for it, but then I had to do the tall nut. It's sort of a problem. There we go. I'll work on more tall nuts now. Luckily we don't have to worry about as many tall nuts because of those pushing blocks, so that's good. Hmm. There it is. And just one more, and we should be good. That's a lot of zombies, and that's not even the final wave. Oh, he walked right past him because he's a jerk. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I know it's because it was frozen, but man, that was sort of a bad situation. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Don't you dare eat him again, thank you. He's got frozen so fast. There we go. Okay, final wave is coming up. I'm trying to be ready for it. Uh, ready now. And then now, and now. Okay, come on, beat up those zombies, please. That's great. Okay, we got them. It looks, it looks like their final move is pretty effective. So I do like that. Oh, there's more. Oh, we're not done. Okay, what is going on with the game's audio? I have no clue. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Looks like we got it. All those zombies are getting destroyed. Get out of here. Awesome. Yeah, the game's audio is like, breaking right now, but there we go, we got him, I got the, uh, the me not the melon pole, the pepper pole. Very cool. Okay, so as you can see, we get the pepper pole. Lobs flaming peppers, zombies, and worms nearby plants. Very cool. All right, so before we move on to level seven, let me go ahead and check what we got here for our reward. Um, looks like, you know, for unlocking pepper pole, we get, well, probably some pepper pole experience if I have to guess anything. But we get 100 coins, we get two for the hot potato, which means we are only two more away from a level up for the hot potato already. We get five for the pepper pole, so we're halfway done with that one. Very cool, I'm guessing that's all we're gonna get for now. That's fine, let's keep moving on then. So our next one is unlock charred guard. Hold the line or better yet, push him back. Charred guard is on the case, complete frost spike caves day 11, which we'll do on the next episode, but that's pretty cool. Uh, for right now, let's move on to level number seven and see how things are going. So four more levels left to defeat in today's episode. I think we'll be fine with that. Hello, you two. Global cooling is the pits. What we need is a heat wave. Agreed. Please note, I have now replaced the snowballs with fireballs. The flamethrower power up melts frost and damages zombies too. Nita, you know, they say say revenge is a dish best served cold, but I say it's best served hot, fiery hot, with extra hot sauce and a side of tacos. Alrighty, so as you can see, we're doing pretty good. Looks like there are both zombies and plants to unfreeze here, so we gotta be careful with which ones we end up doing. We have those little Yeti imps now, so that's gonna be interesting for sure. Hmm, trying to see how I wanna do this one. I definitely want the hot potato and the fire pole. I feel like this is, ah, oh, this is gonna be real risky to do. 
I feel it could be worth it, though. I'll have to wait and see. Um... Okay, I'm trying to think out my options here. I wouldn't mind doing this again. The spread damage is just real nice. Wait, okay, the sun, I was gonna say, wait, where's my sunflower? It's down there at the bottom. Okay, so I'm not gonna speed things up just so I can be ready for it. Because I need to, need to immediately put up the twin sunflower. I then need to hot potato you. And hope that turns out well. It looks like it will. All right, let's wait for another sun, get another twin sunflower, there we go. So far, so good, just gotta keep working on these twin sunflowers. I think this will be well worth it by the end of it, but we just gotta roll through with the, uh, the sun at the moment. So as long as they're on the second to the top or second to the bottom lanes, we will be fine. So I don't wanna unmelt those uh, zombie yetis if I can manage. I mean, I will at some point, I'm sure, just so I can, you know, get them out of here. Okay, now that zombie in the center is sort of the problem, so let me get that going on. This is where the twin sunflowers are about to pick up some pace, which is good. Hmm. So I'm thinking we'll just do another pepper pulp. I'm probably gonna push him, push him, plant him uh, right over this way. There we go. And just hope that's all enough, at least for now. Maybe I could do something like that. Get another one of those. And put that there. All right, I'm, I'm waiting for the pepper pulp to restore, but so far, not too bad, actually. If we could just keep things going on this way, that'd be great. I don't know what the chances are of that actually happening, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, I still have like space for lightning rings if I see an opportunity for it, but at the same time, I don't know, maybe too a little too late for that. Like maybe I could do this, but that might be silly. Okay. We're just gonna keep it with this for now, I think. I don't know. Somehow the split piece of K's have stayed nice and warm through all of this. I'm gonna put down more uh, spike weeds for sure. I feel like that's gonna be a big help. But the pepper pole is keeping that, um, you know, I'm gonna un unmelt these guys now, just to sort of, out of curiosity, what, what they might be able to get me. Like, maybe they'll give me some extra coins or something. Probably not, but, um, the pepper pole seemed to outwarm the snowball throwing zombies, so we should be fine with that. Okay, let's get one over this way. And I think we're gonna about, about gonna be starting to speed things up a little. It's when there's more than one that it becomes a bit of a problem. But even then, we're making things work out. Except for this guy, apparently. Poor Spike, Sp not Spike, uh, Lightning Reed. Okay, so we're almost done with this. I have plenty of sun. I overestimated how much sun I would need, because I'm sort of keeping things to these lanes anyways. Okay, so if I can just use all these plant power-ups at once, it'll be beautiful with the way how, and see how that goes. Come on, come on. You know what, if you eat through that Spike, Reed, or not Spike, oh my gosh, Electric Reed. Lightning Reed, you know. <laughs> I know, we all know, I'm just silly. So I definitely want some of these guys on this side, just because they sort of do help spread that damage around in a really useful way. Anyways, this is the last set of guys. I don't know why I'm not doing this. I don't know why, okay, I didn't mean to do the Sunflower. But that was plenty enough to defeat everybody. Super duper cool, and as you can see, we got another bunch of coins, pretty cool. So day seven is completed, only three more days left to go. All righty, so day eight. Looking like there's not gonna be any bottom or top lane action for the most part. It really depends, this one's gonna be different, of course, because of the fact that, I don't know, there's a lot going on here. I'm thinking we can do this and this and that should be fine. Let's definitely get those guys back there. Most important spots for them to be, I suppose. So if I need to, I can um use this, uh, whatever it's called up here. I forgot already. You know what I mean. There we go, so at least we got that set up. That's not too bad. We could try that out. 
I could uh, get some more over this way just so that they're punching those guys. Okay, one might be a bit overwhelming here. I guess that. I'm actually gonna put him up there so he's just sort of unfreezing more. Okay, I definitely wanna hold on to a couple of things here. Uh, let's, let's do that. All right, this is certainly interesting. I'm gonna hold on to the walnuts until we des desperately need them. I don't know if we're doing this right or not. We'll find out. It's tough. I'm gonna just put some of these guys out here. It should be okay, yeah. Oh, I see, okay. So if we do that again, just like that. Where are things maybe in a little overwhelming? Oh, so maybe we could push them back so that they're all in the center lane. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? What was here, wasn't there? Oh, okay, I don't know why that wasn't there. Very weird. Let me do this. Uh, there was nobody really on there. Oh my gosh, it just never ends. Oh, because he kept getting frozen, got you. Okay, yeah, blow all those guys back. This is very overwhelming. There's like no plant food. What are you doing here? There we go, get those guys back. I don't think they're gonna give us any plant food. <laughs> On four, oh wait, no, this plant food, nice. Okay, um. There we go, got some coins. I do have some plant food, but I definitely wanna save it for as long as possible. Let's push these guys back a little bit. Hmm. Let's definitely replace these guys while we have the chance. This one's looking a little bit overwhelming. Okay, so we should be good with doing this. I don't know if it'll get rid of everybody. That guy on the top has some ice on his head. Hey, got rid of a good chunk. That's always good to see. Let me actually freeze these guys. Oh, they get punched along the way? That's pretty cool. That way I can maybe do the bonk choy there. Oh, they ate through it, okay. That's sort of a shame. That should be better. Let's speed things up. If I need to, I can blow them back again. I don't know if I will need to. It looks like they have it under control. Man, this guy is tough. With the ice on his head? Unstoppable almost. But there we go, we got it. It was just a weird one for sure. Lots of odd stuff going on there. And what do we get? Hopefully some more levels for the hot potatoes. We can get that, or hurt a hurt, hurt level two. And we got 100 coins, three for this guy, the uh, charred guard. Haven't even got there yet. And for the uh, rotobega, another plant we haven't gotten yet. Why? <laughs> so, two more levels left to go. Let's move into level number nine and see what we got going on. Doesn't look like we'll get too much more than a bag of coins, but we'll also get some fun, right? We'll be able to have fun playing through the levels. Looks like there's a new imp on some kind of like bird, maybe like some kind of prehistoric dodo bird, I guess. Looks a little weird, I like it. Um, let's see what we wanna do here, though. Looking at the strategy, it looks like the, the top three lanes are what we really wanna focus on here. So I'm gonna work on that. I think this would be an excellent time for some Snapdragons, so I'm definitely gonna work on that one. Uh, Snapdragons are right here. Like maybe three Peter, but three Peter's just a bit too expensive if you ask me for our situation. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll just do Cherry Bomb as a backup in case things go bad. I think it would be fine. Let's keep it going. And get our first sunflower all set up. Excellent. I do wanna slow it down to see if we get one or two zombies to start things off. If it's two zombies, I'm gonna be in a bit of trouble. But if it's just one, it's always two in this area. So for Frostbite Caves, always two zombies. This is insane. Uh, let's do that. And I guess get you sit up here. We'll see how that goes. I don't know how it's gonna go. Definitely concerning. But they're gonna be, oh, I could have maybe potato mined because they would have stacked up. I don't know if I should have put that one before. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Right now, I mean, I got my sunflowers. I'm gonna have to, ooh, I don't know. 
it. I mean, I guess I could sort of crowd the sunflowers up in this bottom corner, it wouldn't be too bad of a deal. We'll try that. Just doing something like that, like an L shape for the sunflowers. Interesting little strategy. Because eventually I'm gonna have to need room for the uh, pepper bolts. Trying to just work with that now. Right now these two can definitely make it work. So I'm gonna do two of these, I think. And then I'll remove some of the sunflowers for pepper bolts. Okay. Uh, yep, grab some of those. Oh no, you can jump over it! Oh, you're you're mad, you're wild! Wow, look at him, okay, he's still going. Oh, okay, there he goes. Whoa, no, 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 what are you doing? Hey, stop that, cherry bomb! Get him out of here! Keep that in mind, I have to keep that in mind that that's a thing that can happen. Oh my gosh. So I need to actually prepare myself with our first pepper pulp being way over there. So let's hope that actually does away with you in time. That is just such a huge problem. There we go, I love him though. He's hilarious, he's very cool. Oh, and he's eating through that sunflower. He eats fast too. Oh no, not good. We got three waves to survive with this. This could be a problem, like I was saying. Come on now, can we at least stop you there? This guy's a conehead still. Not much is getting through to him. Yeah, we'll at least do that. Come on now, there we go. I need 200 sun pronto. Let's get it going. There we go. That guy has a plant power up this time. But we should be able to beat him down maybe a little bit faster, that'd be nice. Cause he just sort of jumps over defenses and stuff, which is the problem. Oh, you can see his feathers are starting to disappear. There we go, get rid of him. So once that uh, pepper pole is restored, we'll be nice and ready to go, just like that. And just one more up this way, once again, whenever we're ready for it. Okay, so a huge wave of zombies are coming up. I'm not gonna spend any plant food if I can manage it. That'd be what's best. So I'm gonna actually put an extra walnut here, because I'm eventually gonna remove that one and put a snapdragon on it, but first I need to get this. There we go, so now I can get rid of this thing and do a Snapdragon. I think that's a pretty good balance of everything. We're just gonna have to see, wait and see how everything goes. Because obviously, oh no, no, okay, he's gone. I thought that uh, he was gonna get rid of at least one sunflower there. Not the case, it's great. These uh, pepper pulps are working hard and I love it. Okay, well that time they got rid of a sunflower. That's fine, it happens. All right, so a huge wave, our final huge wave of zombies are coming up. We'll be able to use all this on pepper pulse, basically. I love the pepper pulse so far, what a fun plant. Okay, here we go, and it's a bunch of birds. Let the fire rain from the skies, warm this whole place up. Very cool, look at that. So day nine completed, we get another bag of coins, almost at 48,000 coins in total. Very cool, can't wait to get to the big 50,000. But hey, for now, let's move on to day 10. All right, so these cave zombies sure are hard-headed. They just won't take no brains for an answer. According to my data, Neanderthal zombie skulls are 33.2% harder than other zombie skulls. I propose we deploy Charred Guard. He has a secret up his sleeves. I mean, his old knock em dead maneuver. It'll you know, lock those zombies back from where they came from. I guess it's not a secret anymore, now is it, user Dave? Yikes, be much of a blabbermouth, I suppose. Okay, so it looks like sort of the same thing with the last level, but flipped. Oh, and it's another, a lot of conveyor belt levels in today's episode. So yeah, let's see, how do these guys work? I don't know, maybe that was a bad idea. I have no idea how this plant works. Um, Are there like walnuts? I'm not sure. Let's speed things up and find out we got a snowstorm coming in. Uh, this, I might have to restart this level just to figure out what in the world's going on. Whoa, they're, they're sort of bowing. Whoa, I like it. Oh, I really like it. So let's try to beat these these guys up. Oh, here we go. Flip them back. That's pretty cool. Because it does make them sort of fall apart in a way. Come on, can I get one more, one more, one more? I can't. Oh, wow. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Okay, well, I got it for the little dodo bird. Nice, this is very interesting so far. I do want to see the plant power up for this, but 
for right now might not be the best idea. Oh wow, okay, so eventually, as you can see, the leaves fall off, and when the leaves fall off, I guess that means they have to sort of restore or something. Or maybe I could just, I can just plant them over. Okay, just like the walnuts. Very interesting, okay. Now I got a three, Peter, we can put it there. Oh my, I don't know how to feel about all this, so. No, let's do this. Oh, did that work? I don't know if that worked. Unfortunately, I don't think it did. Okay, whoa, that was a little wild. I would like to see that in action again though, maybe when, okay, let's hot potato this guy, if we can. Okay, now we got plenty of plant food. I'm gonna get you set up like that. And I'm gonna put you here, and then, maybe I could try it like this then. I'm trying to wait for, that was a waste. See, like it didn't really do too much. Okay, you know what? Do I need somebody up there? I don't think I do. I think we're fine. Okay, that was it. We're fine. <laughs> huh, weird. I didn't really get to see what that plant food did all that much. It was a very, very weird situation. But ha hey, I like that a lot. That was a lot of fun. The first 10 days of Frostbite Caves was a blast. We get another bag of coins and we can exit to the map. Alrighty, so the first 10 levels of the what was it called, Frostbite Caves, has been completed. 20 more levels left to go. We'll be doing levels 11 through 20 in the next episode, it'll be a ton of fun. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. If you watch this one video, make sure you comment Frostbite Zebra, so you watch the end of the URA Zebra Task. If you were checking more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.